I was born in this place. I know Turan. I've got friends here. Soon I'll head back to Paris, where I live. My return ticket with Iran Air is ready. One slight concern. Nothing, really. I need to renew my Iranian passport. I'm used to it. It normally takes three days. I've got ten days to spare. That's more than enough. To renew my passport, I have to get, amongst other things, Islamic-style ID photos. No hair appearing beneath the scarf, no visible makeup, no smile. Basically, you have to produce a picture of a woman looking straight at the lens when in her day-to-day -day life she isn't allowed to look men in the eye. That they, that third person plural, denotes the current Islamic administration. That they is a way of saying it's not us. I know immediately I will have to pay, even very dearly. All I have to do is get up, walk around the two men, get into the Ajans waiting for me on the other side of the street, and go back to the sane world, the calm, ordinary world, the one where you can't negotiate over a pair of eyes, complete with references to the morgue outside the central passport office. Everything's happening here on the pavement outside the central passport office at this exact moment with a doctor and a property developer discussing the transfer of an eye. I look at the old woman sitting beside me and picture her settled in Sweden, in partnership with the owner of the fast food restaurant. All of a sudden, without any warning, she opens her door and puts a live chicken onto Lieutenant Mokhepor's desk. It's my passport I want. I really have to get out of Iran. I've got to go to France. Soon after the, that, the plane takes off and flies over the chain of mountains around Tehran. I look at the Elbowers Mountains, which stand over me as I was born, and take off my scarf. <laughs> 